Looks like as as we move ahead, though, Lauren, with a lot of dangers with this heat over the next couple days still need to play it very safe even in the next week. Yeah, Wes, that's very true. So we keep talking about how this heat, which granted we get it hot and humid every summer here in Alabama, but the heat and humidity is not just taxing on your body for the average person, but also for people who work outside. And we actually got in some new data from our friends at Climate Central, and it was looking at data that was showing, OK, since 1994 to 2023, so about a 30 year period, how many average annual days each year do you see a heat index of greater than 95? And it actually looks like right here in central Alabama, you can get on average 40 days per year where that heat index is greater than 95. And of course, we're no stranger to that in the summer months. So you see that that puts more heat stress on your body, especially if you're working outside because as we've been talking about all week long, the problem with that humid heat is that it doesn't allow you to cool down. And just within the past 50 years or so, the humid heat has actually been going up. When you have a warming climate, the air can hold more water vapor. And so when the air can hold more water vapor, it has the capacity to have more humidity. And so you can see here in the Birmingham area on average over the past 50 years, we have added about 14 more days per year with a heat index of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. And it's actually when you get that heat index 80 degrees Fahrenheit or higher when that's when you can definitely see more stress on your body, especially if you work outdoors under that blazing sunshine. So make sure you're staying safe and keeping it cool and we'll always be checking in on you here on weather.